right to expect to be having safe treatment and as nurses that's our responsibility to do that. So I would make sure that when I'm talking about environmental safety, look at your age groups and remember that the majority of your care is going to be teaching and educating the client and the client's family members. It allows you to go back and to go to your interventions and say, did my interventions work to meet the goal that we set for the patient? Was the goal met to alleviate the problem? Remember we said at the very beginning that the nursing process was systematic and it was cyclic. It means that a problem leads to a goal, a goal leads to interventions, interventions lead to implementations, implementation leads to evaluation. Evaluation eliminates the implementation, implementations eliminate interventions, interventions eliminate the goal, the goal met eliminates the problem. Then I'm just going to cross multiply, okay? So it's 325 x equals 650, okay? Got to get x by itself. Same step we just did a few minutes ago, isn't it? And then x equals two tabs. You can do ratio and proportion either way that you want to. Desired over half or you can do it out long ways to the side. But again, the whole key to doing pharmacology math is to make sure that you do every step, don't take shortcuts, and label, label, label so you understand exactly what it is that you want to give your patient.